Hi everybody, welcome back to another balloon tutorial. Today we're going to be twisting a balloon zombie. That's right. Um, the way I'm going to do this one today though is I'm going to uh, make the head out of uh, 260s. Um, we're going to use the green for the actual face and ears. And then we use the pink that you can see here. It's going to be for the uh, brains. Uh, black for the little legs. And then we'll use this for the arms and the uh, midsection. Um, pretty easy to do so follow along um, with me and um, Thank you for being here today, and uh, the way I do my videos is I will bring the sound down and um, uh, I'll bring the sound down and I'll do voiceover that way we can minimize the squeaking and maximize the teaching That's right, and then the markers I'm going to use are a white black and red um, This white marker is an Eddings 750 okay um, you can probably find these on Amazon, but I get mine from therocksmagic.com um, and then the Sharpies, well, you can find those anywhere, you know, so, uh, okay. The reason I'm doing this uh, zombie is it was a request by a buddy of mine, um, and I have the prints, let's see, right here, which is kind of cool. If you, like, need to hurry up and make one, uh, these work out, like, you know, really, really well, so. Uh, but today I'm actually going to be making the the head out of, like I said, out of 260. So uh, you can see right now, they're neither one of them are both inflated to the end. So I'm gonna use, they're, they're pretty much identical the way I inflated them. And both of these, I'm not gonna use all these. So you can see they all have long tails on them. Ta-da, okay. All right, um, so let's go ahead and start with our green, let's see. Let's see which one I want. They look like they're pretty close, so I guess we'll matter which one. I'm gonna start with this one for the, uh, for the body, but, um, Let's see what else. I just want to make sure that I'm not skipping anything. I don't think I am. So let's go ahead and get started. What do you say? Yeah? Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's bring that sound down. The first thing we're going to do is twist the, um, the arms and the upper body or the midsection. So we start with our hand. That hand is just uh, a loop. And that loops about uh, three fingers wide followed by a pinch twist followed by the arm. The arm is about four fingers and then we will do two pinch twists you see I pulled that balloon I rolled it right through there and I will go into a loop and I'm gonna grab those two you see and I took that arm or what's gonna be the arm here and I twisted it around with those two pinch twists just to help it be secure so the last part here is a pinch twist followed by another loop and that will complete the other arm and that section is done so you can see it's pretty easy to get to that there we go, let's go ahead and break that off and tuck the, the little piece there, tuck it away. You know, one thing that I forgot to get is my cutter, but that's okay because in the end we can hide some stuff here. That makes this balloon pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna go to the legs. We're gonna start with a foot. It's about three to four fingers for that. There we go. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. Matter of preference on some of these things, you know. Uh, the more you do them, you'll get used to them. But uh, I would just say, just stay consistent with your proportions and you'll be good to go. And I did another loop. There we go. So we can match them up. And now just gonna run that balloon through that loop that we created with the upper torso. And remember, um, with, with the balloons, pretty interesting. If a lot of times if the tail can fit through there, the whole balloon is gonna fit through there as well. Okay. So just match that at the bottom there uh, where, the, where the feet were done. And then just twist it around there and break off what we have left and tuck that tail away. And then we're done. Now we have the body. There we go. And you've seen, um, I had done another video. Well, you've probably seen this, this body made many, many times, which is really cool because it'll get you to the, you know, to the finish line as fast as possible. Then you just have to worry about what kind of head you're going to put on this character. In this case with the zombie. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, instead of just inflating around, which is my go-to way. But I just wanted to make sure that, uh, like I said, a buddy had made a request that I was actually making this. So right now you see I did about a three to four finger segment followed by a pinch twist, followed by another three to four finger segment and end with the pinch twist. So that's become, that becomes our ears. Okay, and I left uh, a tail in there because I'm going to pull it across from one ear to the other. And you see I have my thumb there underneath. And that'll just create that uh, gappy or that slack that we need because we're gonna attach it to those two pinch twists on the body that we had made. Next part is our pink. So we can go ahead and add the, the brain. 
and it's simple it's gonna be nine bubbles total when we do this and I'm just going to go back and forth and now you see right now because I have to create those bubbles in a continuous chain I am holding the balloon against my body and that definitely helps for this segment so back and forth end up with nine bubbles I almost did ten but you know I <laughs> I did my best to refrain <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what difference it would have made. I guess so. I think uh, in nine ended up being the magic number in this case. So just back and forth, and then you can break off whatever you have left over. There we go. That worked out. And so the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and attach it. And the way I'm going to do that is I will dig my fingers into that chin strap that I had made. There you go. There we are. And now what I can do, now that my fingers are in there, now I can reach and grab onto the one of the pinch twists, one of the bubbles from the pinch twist where the neck area is. And just make sure that, that slides on over there. And I'm actually, I think I ended up pulling it and then giving it a twist. Yep. And now I can move it around a little bit. Now it's really in there, it's really secure. Good, good, good. Okay, and now at this point, once it's you know been attached, just work on the aesthetics, make sure it looks good. I think I feel pretty good about what we have so far, so we'll go ahead and get ready for the artwork. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching to this point. And the artwork's pretty easy, so I think I'm happy with what we have. All right, so we made it to the end of the twisting, and as you can tell, I took my sweet time. <laughs> I was not in a rush on this one. So let's go over the artwork really quick. Um, I'll keep it nice and simple, okay? For the most part. Uh, but definitely if you wanna have fun during this time and you know, take your time, watch it. Um, uh, one suggestion I would make too also is if you have 350 for this, um, it probably works out better because it gives you more room to draw on. So keep that in mind, okay, when you do this. Um, okay, so let's go over the, uh, the face. I'm gonna start by having the nose just be too just two little uh, hash marks there, okay? It's just like flattened out. You could even uh, connect it if you wanted to. Probably wouldn't be so bad, so there we go. Shows that nose is gone, all right? And for the eyes, what we're gonna do this time, I don't uh, normally do this is, I'll show you, let me do both of them really quick. Have them like arching, there we go, okay? Hold up there for a second so you can look at it, all right? And we'll come down both sides. There we go. Okay. So if you want to add, you know, if you if you do want to have pupils, have at it. There we go. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and color them in. I'm actually gonna split them right in half. So you see that? I'm going like there we go. Okay. Have your eyes. And then for the mouth, okay, that's gonna be the upper lip. And we'll have that mouth open. We'll go across here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, teeth. There we go. And they aren't perfect, right? Look at that. <laughs> We'll put some on the bottom here. Two teeth. All right, let me go ahead and block the rest of this in. Cool. Okay, so you can see. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> With the, because this is like, uh, you know, this is a 260 for the face and stuff. Almost looks like he's wearing like a pink wig. <laughs> looks kind of silly, but. Uh, but I think people will get the idea though, you know what this is supposed to be so um, I'm gonna do with the red you know I'll do a little bit of blood and one thing also to keep in mind is that I used this a spring green for this um, the ideal color though would be a, a lime green because um, when you start drawing on it in red um, it'll show up a lot better even if you use a, a gray it's gonna be good for this too just the spring green um, kind of mutes the 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 blood you know uh, but obviously when you go up here on the pink you know 
you can definitely see it okay you see right there I just did like you know squiggly marks to show like the veins right okay and then I'll show you where I would uh, color in the white okay Make sure I didn't test this white marker to see if it was actually uh, working or ready to go but I think it is though so for the teeth we're just gonna touch it a little bit oh yeah it's good Get our teeth there, the eyes, do a little highlights, okay, and then the white area. I bet if you had a yellow, that'd probably cool too. For this area here, okay. We got one eye, and we got the second eye. And now that we have that, um, I think we're pretty much good to go. Yep. There you go. Cool. Cool, man. Made it. We. All right. So <clears throat> there's a little zombie with his little <laughs> uh, brains exposed or his uh, pink wig. I guess it depends on uh, what you want to call it. Um, you know, you could also do... Um, Aside from his brain being exposed, you could definitely do a little brain, like in his hand or something like that, you know, chewing on something. Or in one of the uh, one of the hands or the arms, um, have like a foot or an arm that he chewed that he's or that he's working on. Um, let's see. Oh, I had a red balloon sitting here. So you could do it with this too if you had one of these, like uh, you know, two pinsters on the end here instead of uh, the uh, hand. You could pretend uh, that like his arm. Or his intestine, like, you know, he he had, like, intestines or, like, blood, like, you know, spattering out, uh, spraying out. Let's see, here's, uh, we could do it, like, here in the middle. Then bring it around. So you can see kind of, like, blood, like, like, gushing out, right? So yeah, so you know, play around through zombies, see what kind of fun you can get out of them. But uh, thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you haven't subscribed to the channel, now's a good time. Um, I'm uh, doing more videos. You know what happens is summer comes along and um, it's hard to keep posting over and over just because the summer gets really, really busy. And so um, I'm gonna do my best to maybe batch them and um, then release them accordingly. I just spend one day and film several ones. Probably that's a good idea. Huh? We'll see how it goes. Huh? So anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Um, and thank you very much if you supported me through Patreon, patreon.com slash jlomagic. I really do appreciate it. And um, if you see me, you know, taking my time and not posting as often as I should, uh, feel free to send me a message and say, hey man, what's up, what gives? You know, <laughs> and uh, I'll do my best to get on here. So until next time, my friends, happy twisting. Bye.